Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Bad Cat. How's everybody doing? Yeah, here we are. We we had a stream last night and we were talking about QB door lock and we were testing it and we weren't able to figure it out. So this video is gonna explain to us or to anyone who wants to watch, right? Uh, how to use the QB door lock uh, script on your on your server. It actually is quite easy. Uh, it's just that final part that we weren't getting it and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Uh, just an extra thing I wanted to add. Thank you so much for the support you guys have been giving me. We're almost to 100 subscribers. Woo! <laughs> and it's all because of you guys. All because of you guys. Thank you so much for all that support. Uh, so let's go into it. <laughs> we did add this MLO not too long ago in one of the videos. I'll probably place a link up and above part of the video up here. Tell you where it is. So how, how you add MLOs. So this does has doors. There's also a door back here. <clears throat> Some doors. Uh, for QB door lock to work, the entity must exist. And when I say this, this is what I mean. Uh, write the command slash admin. Go down to developer options. Go all the way down to entity view model. And there should be something that says free aim mode. Be careful with this because you can delete things and if you do you're gonna have to restart your server for it to be to be put back. <clears throat> so before we use QB door lock we have to uh, have an entity to use. This one right here is an entity. entity. This one over here is also an entity. This is a door, yes, and I think this one is also an entity. <clears throat> Very important. Uh, if it doesn't exist, door thing will not work. So let's try one of the doors over here. This is not an entity. Maybe there's another door back here. Over here. This is a person, but it needs to exist. It needs to turn green. The the symbol. So let's go back to where we were. <clears throat> we are going to write down what is on that black screen where the entity information is. We are going to write down or save and stand some location the entity ID. Let me just write that down real quick. Uh, one nine five five three three zero. Just copy this, paste it when I need it. So from here on in, we should remove free aim because if you do press E, as you can see on the upper right, uh, upper part of the screen, it says delete entity. And if you do delete it, you're gonna have to, I'm not sure if just starting, logging out and back in will work, or if you have to restart the server, I'm not sure. <clears throat> it will it will get back, but until the next restart, there's no door. So let's remove this. That way we won't make mistakes. We can remove that too. And we are going to write our command new door. <clears throat> a new a little thing over here is going to appear. Uh, we're going to give this uh, this cubic door lock saves these things in a file on your server. So this is more like of an, a name for that file. But for example, let's call this taco. <coughs> taco entrance and trits there. And enter entrance. There we go. The unique number is what we just uh, copied from the that little entity information. 
right here door label we can call it all anything I don't know um just say entrance door type we have this is a single door but this also works for double doors sliding doors and garages so but we want this one uh, we can also add this only for certain jobs so if you want this only to be open for police you just put police here uh, or the job name if you want we can check that out later on uh, i'll show you where you, where you get the names of these things this can also be a gangster authorization only certain gangsters can go in here this it also can be used for for example if you have a mayor the mayor can only the mayor can open this door and you can also open the door with a certain item for example let's say you have a special card uh, in this case it's just a taco thing for this case it would be just a certain job but i don't have a job configured for this actually i think i am using the bennies so we'll add bennies and do we have to put the distance uh, one maybe two depending on what you, what you want i'm also going to do all of them here i'm going to put it locked automatically locked and this is cool for when you have other scripts you can put it lock pickable you can use a lock pick to open it up we can test it out here too also so let's just do that the rest is not important unless if you want to hide the labels when you get close or anything like that <clears throat> after everything is on just click submit and this is where we had problems yesterday I was clicking and all that but what it actually says there is aim at your desired door how do you aim <laughs> you need a weapon <laughs> so aim at the door and as you can see it's turning it's kind of like a purple pink mix and just shoot at it and it's done. The door has been configured. Uh, we can go to it. It is locked. Since I already have the job, uh, let's see, job, let's check it out. Nope, wrong place. Job, damn it. Slash job. I do have the Benny's uh, job. But if I put it to, I think it's set job. Ah, wait a minute, I need, need to know my ID. ID is four, so set job. First of all, let's, before we change it, let's see if we can open the door. Since we are at Benny's, we can open and lock the door. Uh, so now let's change the job set the job for police let's put it at three uh, let's check if it's changed okay now I'm a police officer and as you can see I cannot go in but <laughs> I have lock picks so let's see if we can get through this. Ah. Four, three, two. If it says success, there it is. Ta da! And just to make it, things even more fun, let's put ourselves back at Benny's. Benny's, okay. Let's check the door. It is unlocked. Now it is locked. And there you have it. That's how QB door lock works. Uh, just an extra information. Um, let's go to your VPS server. Okay, on your VPS server, there is a directory. Uh, go to your resources directory. 
QB and search for QB door lock. From here, I'm not sure if it's saved. No, it's not saved. It's configs. This is where it saves your door. I haven't figured out a way to delete the door from the other side, but from in game, if you want to delete it, you have to go through here. If you want to change options to it, you can do that here. You can remove the pickable for lock pick. Uh, when it starts out, it always starts out locked. Uh, the job, you can change the job and uh, all that. But if you do change anything, for example, we're going to delete this. You're going to have to restart the, the script for the door to disappear. Let me just restart it. Go back to your game. And there's no configuration whatsoever. So there you have it. That's how you do it. How you use your door lock. Uh, script from QB Core. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you want to be informed of new videos, hit that subscribe and that notification button. There is a dis Discord link in the description if you want to pop by the Discord and uh, want me to help you with any other scripts related to QB Core. I'm just Fixing, uh, I'm just uh, doing QB Core scripts uh, libraries for now. The ones that come with the QB Core library. Uh, I may help you with other ones, but eh, I'm more just working with this for now. Uh, as for the support you guys have been giving me, thank you so much. It's amazing. Uh, I finally think I figured out what was wrong with my computer, so videos will be coming in at, at a bigger rate. Uh, I will probably be doing a QB Ox install and a QB uh, Core install. So that should be up on my channel. They, they should already have been up. And I'm gonna also start doing some also some QB Ox. I, I usually call it QB Ox because I think it's much easier but I know it's called QB Ox. So <laughs> I am sorry for that. It's just it just so it sounds so much better. Q box. It's amazing. But hey, I'm not the one that gave the name. Someone else did. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, love you all for all the support. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.